Direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access, it's Foxborough Central. And here's your host, Bob Hickey. And welcome to another episode of Foxborough Central. I am Bob Hickey, your host, and I thank you for taking the time to join with me and my guest as we talk about the events, people, and organizations that make Foxborough truly the gem of Norfolk County. And you know, sometimes in life you come across things that are of interest, and sometimes you come across life things that you just don't understand. So this is one of those things where I'm going to be educated along with you, and I hope we all have a good time learning about it. I'm going to meet my new friend, Seamus Cormitt. Seamus, how are you doing, Hi, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. So I came across a post on Facebook, I do know how to use Facebook, folks, uh, about a community games night, and I went, ah, what is this? And so I'm curious to know, what is community games night? Okay, well, uh, it's a uh, chance for people to get together, um, like most community events. Uh, a lot of uh, libraries in a lot of towns have a night set aside where people will bring board games and play them and uh, uh, connect as a community. Okay, and you're volunteering to lead this organization, this effort, this fun games night here in Foxborough. That's the idea. Well, fantastic. So we're here at Foxborough Central to help promote Foxborough Community Games Night, and you can learn about Foxborough Communities Game Night, of course, by watching this program, but also by becoming their friend on Facebook at Foxborough Community Games Night, spelled the real way with the UGH, and then you can hook in, get included with the event, and then there's no way that you'll miss it. So it's at the Boyden Library yep. on Tuesday, December 13th. I had the cheat. I know you saw me do that. Tuesday, December 13th, 2016, starting at 6 p.m. and running for three hours until yep. 9. Great. And there's plenty of parking at the Boyden Library. It's a safe environment, and it's fun. So we're going to play games. Sounds good. So we're going to play Twister. We're going to play Risk. We're going to play Monopoly. Well, the idea is maybe to not do, not that any of those are bad games. Uh, I would never, uh, any, any time people can get together and have a good time. Uh, but from my generation, we'll go with that. So let's <laughs> see what your generation is doing. What do well, you consider fun and what are we gonna be looking for there's here? A, as, as time has gone on, there's been a lot, uh, uh, even in recent years, there's been an explosion of different games by independent publishers and uh, companies that are getting bigger as time's going on. And so like what we have here on the table, um, are a few ideas of some of the maybe less traditional games, sort of interesting ideas that we can expose uh, people to who maybe only know uh, Risk or Monopoly or Battleship. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with those games. Absolutely not. Now, Seamus Cormitt, who is running this games night, this guy doesn't know how to play Munchkin Zombies. Does that mean I can't come? You are uh, more than welcome. But to what come. will I do? Will I sit in the corner? Will I sit on the wall? Will people make fun of me for not knowing how to play Munchkin Zombies? No, you. Well, if you don't know how to play a game and you are interested, you will uh, learn how to play that game. Uh, uh, so and there will be opportunities to learn. Absolutely. And inclusion. Mm -hmm. Nobody will be turned away. Nobody will be turned away. What age group are we targeting here? Um, that's one of the questions that uh, I actually have. Um, when I thought of this, uh, I started poking around for interest, and um, people were asking, are families allowed? Are fam uh, is it for older mm -hmm. uh, people? Um, and I kind of left that open. Um, we'll, we'll see what So we're going to see how the and... cards lie. Right. <laughs> That's a joke, <laughs> just in case you didn't know. So that's great. So anybody can come. It's open to everybody, and then we're going to see where it goes. And are you hoping sure. to make this a recurring event? I would love to make it a recurring event, especially if uh, people have a good time with it. Super. So we're looking for initial interest to be phenomenal. We're hoping that you're going to come out to the Boyden Library on Tuesday, December 13th at 6 o'clock p.m. Maybe show up a little bit late. You'll be okay. You can do it after work. Uh, but come out there, and you can play. Are these examples of the games, or are yeah, these, these are, the actual games? These are just a few examples, um, and people are if they have games at home, welcome to bring them. Uh, we'll do what we can to make sure that nobody goes home with somebody else's uh, stuff. But <laughs> absolutely, uh, if there's something you want to show people that maybe they would not otherwise get, absolutely bring that along. So if I were to show up with my game of Taboo, that might Quite that possibly, might sure. Except the buzzer would get annoying, but that's okay. <laughs> So anyway, I'm here with Seamus Corbett, who is the volunteer leader of this. And you are telling us that if we want to learn more, we can go to Facebook, become your friend at Foxborough Community Games Night. Yeah, well, that's the name of the event. Yep. Um, so you'll find that uh, 
just searching Facebook. So and, if I uh, keep typing, eventually I'll get to it. Eventually you will, yeah. Okay, great. So uh, Seamus wanted to um, just ask you, what is your level of expertise? What makes you a games aficionado? What makes you the man to run all of this? Um, well, actually, what makes me the guy to run all of this is that I'm the guy who volunteered. There you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> which, which, and we're an organization of volunteers here at Foxborough Cable Access. You obviously made eye contact with somebody, so good for you. You had a great <laughs> idea, and we're glad you're doing it. So congratulations on taking the initiative, and I hope you get some great turnout. Well, I hope so, too. Okay. So, folks, if you want to learn how to play Munchkin Zombies, Forbidden Island, Pandemic, or any one of a number of other games that might be showing up at the Boyden Library on Tuesday, December 13th, 6 o'clock. You should come on out. Is there a particular game here that's your favorite? Um, personally, I think I, I lean toward uh, Pandemic. Why? It's, um, it's a game about uh, diseases and curing them before they spread to the entire world. Okay. So everybody works as a team. They come up with a plan and uh, try to uh, cure illnesses around the world. It's uh, Sounds interesting. Yeah. Sounds different. So you could probably get a number of diverse people together and help them become friends. And this might be a good opportunity for people who are maybe new to town to get involved. It's a different approach. I like it. I like it a lot. So Seamus, is there any last message you want to send out to the good people of Foxborough as they prepare to clean their calendar off on Wednesday, December 13th? Tuesday, December 13th. Tuesday, yeah. Um, well, uh, I would say um, it should be a good time, hopefully. Uh, obviously, I personally can't make it all a good time by myself, so I'm going to need some good people to show up and uh, be ready to have a good time. And um, we will uh, turn what would otherwise be a boring Tuesday night into a good event for everyone. Family fun, good times, and great games. So come on out to the Boyden Library on Tuesday, December 13th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. for Foxborough Community Games Night. Seamus, it's been great meeting you, and I wish you luck, and I hope a lot of people show up. I hope you show up. And speaking of volunteers, we're made up of volunteers here at Foxborough Cable Access as well, and I want to thank my volunteers, Betty Travers, Deb Stores behind the cameras, Paul Beck behind the glass. They're the ones who make this rock and roll every week, and of course, Jillian Larson, Lauren Batar, and Michael Weber here at the studios who put this all together and bring it to you on the air. On behalf of all those volunteers who I thank, and on behalf of my new friend, Seamus Corman, I'm Bob Hickey, and I thank you for joining us. Have a great night, Foxborough. Mm -hmm.